Greetings and welcome to my YouTube channel once again. Uh, it's your boy Shao King, and today I'm here with NZDJPY. We'll be looking to trade with the stochastic oscillator as one of our indicators. Uh, so what I'm basically doing is wiping out all, all and any uh, trading analysis that I've done on the charts, and uh, I'm going to keep my chart as clean as possible so that I'm able to illustrate to you guys how to use the stochastic oscillator to know when price is overbought and oversold and we can use this to our advantage to place a few trades after conducting a good technical analysis. So basically what I did was I went to the quotes and then I searched for NZD JPY and added it to my charts. So as you can see I'm on the H4 chart time frame um, and I will be looking around for um, the indicators i'll add an indicator i'll look for the stochastic oscillator as you can see and then i'll make sure that i set my parameters accordingly so my k period for the strategy that i normally use i set to 15 or 16 at times and then my d period i set to six and my slowing to three i keep my price field at at low and highs and my method at simple you can then uh, also have a few tweaks or tweak this uh, around for yourself uh, I'll also keep my style for the main line I'll keep it at black um, I'll also make sure that I'll have 15% for buy 85% for sell and 50% for waiting okay so basically those are my signal levels as you can see on my chart, I currently have the sell signal at the top at 85%, my weight signal at 50%, and the buy signal at 15%. Remember, I told you that I'll keep my color for the main line to black and the other line to blue. Now, once, that, once you have done that, or you could have done it differently, you have to set your support and resistance zones so that you know whether price is overbought and oversold. In my condition, price is clearly oversold. And for this reason, I will be looking to place a buy at this minor support zone. So uh, as you can see, I'll set uh, the support zone at the 87.618 line or just above it. And anywhere around that zone was going to be an optimal zone to buy. But as you can see, price has already touched that zone and is currently moving upwards. So I'll simply just place a buy trade from here. Uh, once that is set and done, I'll then set my stop loss and take profit zones. As you can see, I will use my stop loss as the 87,466. And I'll take my take profit at the price of 88.844 or 844. That is what you can see on the chart. And guys, for this strategy, uh, I normally use this to place swing trades, you know, or once I know that price is over, uh, oversold and I, I'm looking for buys, I'll then be looking for uh, reversal chart patterns on minor time frames and set my take profit targets and stop losses accordingly. You can do the same when you're using this strategy. Trust me, you'll not go wrong, especially if you use very small lot sizes, because as you know, they say indicators lag, and yes, that is true. But if you do conduct your technical analysis correctly, most of the times or oftentimes you will come out winning. Just make sure to use proper risk management, use lot size, the lot sizes according to your account size, and you will not go wrong uh, in the next video we will be talking about moving averages i hope that you will have the time to watch this one until the end so that when i s upload the next video you will then be able to use both the stochastic oscillator and the moving averages to your advantage to place a few trades and make a few dollars for yourself so guys i hope you have enjoyed this video um, it's your boy once again shao king here Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more. And I also wanted to say that you guys are able to join my Telegram channels, my Discord channel, right from the link in my YouTube channel as well. But leave your comments down below if I have missed anything or if you have any questions. Stay tuned. It's your boy Shao King and I'm out.
Kenny Gitton and Uptrend will be looking for buys.